Today's Revit step-by-step -step is about overhead line work. The functions we'll cover are underlay, line work, and we'll talk about separate walls versus wall opening tool. So here is a house, single family, that I'm creating. I'm in the upper floor plan, so I turn on the underlay to the same level. And switch it from plan to reflected ceiling plan. You see the items above in gray now. I've created a ceiling so we see something and we see the lines above our four foot eight opening. From here, I go to my Modify tab, select the Line Work tool, and choose the type of line that I want to override it with. In this case, the overhead line type. From here, I click on the lines that I want to control. Notice that after I click, I can select the end controls and make them shorter or longer. When I've finished selecting all the lines I want, I simply turn off my underlay you'll notice that these lines remain visible. And they'll also allow me to select that object. So this wall above, I'm making it shorter or longer. So these are not two dimensional detail lines, these are 3D lines. So in this case, I've created three separate walls that each have a different floor offset. If I look at a section, you'll notice that when I was looking at the underlay, I could see the wall above here, but I could not see the wall above for the wall opening tool. So if you wish to create this, you will need to use separate walls that have different offsets. If you want to control how your underlay displays, if we go back to our upper floor plan, when our underlay is turned on, you can control how it looks under the Manage Settings, and Additional Settings, Half Tone Underlay. Here it shows how you're going to display things.